Hi, this is George Woodbury from the College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California. In this video, I will show you how to solve profit and loss problems that involve percent increase and decrease. In the first example, Marco invested $10,000 in a stock. In the first year, the stock decreased in value by 10%. In the second year, the stock decreased in value by another 20%. What percentage gain is required in the third year in order for Marco's stock to return to its original value? In this example, the most common error is to simply add 10 and 20 percent together and declare that the stock must go up by 30 percent. We'll see as, as we work out the problem that this is not true. We'll begin by listing the starting value, which is $10,000. In the first year, the stock decreased in value by 10%. Another way to think of this is that it retained 90% of its value. Multiplying 90% by the starting value shows us that the value after the first year is $9,000. In the second year, the stock decreased in value by 20%, meaning that it held 80% of its value. Multiplying this, the $9,000 by 80%, we see the value after the second year is $7,200. In order for the stock to return to its original value, it must increase in value by $2,800, subtracting its current value from the original value. We now need to determine what percent of $7,200 is $2,800. Set up a percent equation with the amount equal to the percent times the base. Recall that in percent increase or decrease problems, the original amount is always the base. In this case, that's 7,200. To solve this equation, we'll divide both sides by 7,200. And we see that P is approximately 0.389. This tells us that the stock must increase in value by approximately 38.9% in order to return to its original value. In the first example, we knew the starting value of the stock. In this example, although we don't know the original starting value, we can still solve a similar problem. In the year 2007, the S&P 500 index increased in value by 5.5%. In the year 2008, the same index decreased in value by 38.5%. What percentage gain is required in 2009 in order for the index's value to return to its value at the beginning of 2007? In this example, the starting value is unknown. We will let the variable x represent this value. Because the stock went up in 2007 by 5.5%, its value after 2007 is 105.5% of its original value, or 1.055x. In 2008, the stock's value decreased, the index decreased in value by 38.5%, meaning that it held 61.5% of its value. Multiplying 0.615 by its value after 2007, we see that its value after 2008 is 0.648825x. To return to its original value, we subtract that from the original value x and see that it must increase by 0.351175x. Now we create a percent equation involving the amount of increase and the new current value. To solve this equation, we'll divide both sides by 0.648825x. And we see that P is approximately 0.541. Changing this to a percent, we see that the S&P 500 index must increase in value by approximately 54.1% in order to return to its value at the beginning of 2007. I hope you found these videos helpful. For practice problems of this type, visit the handouts page at georgewoodbury.com. Thanks.